Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out, this was a Facebook Marketplace find in my area. Um, it popped up one week. Uh, it was listed at $45 or best offer. Um, and I watched it for a while because uh, I wasn't quite interested at $45. Um, plus, I didn't really know what it was. It just intrigued me. Um, uh, not even a week later, it dropped down to $25. And it was listed as CD player doesn't work because the door doesn't stay closed. 25 bucks or best offer. So I was like, you know what? I can make the little drive to go get it. About 30, 30, 40 minute drive. Um, all for 20 bucks. I was like, no, 20 bucks. I'm in for 20. Let me come get it. Um, we couldn't work it out. The pickup just couldn't work it out. So another week went past. I tried again, finally made it work. Here it is. Now this unit uh, came with the remote. So remote included, stereo. Um, this is a mini hi-fi stereo. But what I thought was so cool about it, and this is the FHB5 CD. What I thought was so cool about it was the fact that now it's heavy and it's got some weight to it is the fact that it's uh in boombox form so it's got a handle on the top you can pick it up speakers attached i thought that was so cool i'm like wow this is like a boombox but it's not it's a stereo it does not have a battery compartment it needs to be plugged in to operate as you can see, um, I believe it's early 90s. I want to say 91, 92. I was trying to find info on it, and I I just couldn't find anything. I found another similar model, which was around that time. So I'm going to say this is probably, <coughs> excuse me, 91, 92. Got these little clips here. You slide them, and then the speakers come off. Just like that, real simple. And to reattach, you just simply slide it in place, hit the lock, the speakers are attached. Um, got little base ports on the back. Pretty simple. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. Um, tape, CD, tuner, and an auxiliary input. Uh, of course, Tape decks didn't work. Bands completely shot. Um, they are semi working now. I did replace the bands, but I replaced. Uh, they run, but the uh, main band it was uh, too big. I need a smaller band to put on there. So I put the wrong size. So it does play, plays a little slow. And that's the reason I got to replace that band. So. Um, I'll have to do that at some point. Dolby noise reduction. It's got surround, built-in EQ. I mean, this is a really nice unit for its time. Three-way speakers. And, I mean, it sounds good. I don't know what the deal was with the CD player. Um, I haven't had any issues with it, really. Besides when I first tried it, it did open back up. After I've, oh, there it goes, see? Um, and I don't know what causes that. But after that, it seems to work fine. That I can tell. It sounds pretty decent. I mean, uh, it's got good bass to it, mids, treble, and it's got the EQ so you can adjust everything. So, so it's it's a nice unit. It really is. Um, got all kinds of different play options and all with the CD player. Um, and, uh, yeah, like I said, got dual cassette, no auto reverse, um, which is fine. It's 
got surround and some other like bass boost features and then it's got all kinds of sleep timers and all kinds of other stuff this is a really nice unit and uh just compact not too heavy the uh wood ca wood cabinets for the speakers plastic on the front of course uh the main stereo is plastic but uh, it's built very well, and it sounds great. That's what's so cool about it. Um, so you see the volume knob moves with the remote. Still works. Remote's pretty basic. Not a whole lot to it. But uh, this is just, it's a really, really cool unit. You know, all in one, kind of portable, but not really portable. Um, for 20 bucks, I think it was a steal. Um, I say you always got to keep an eye out L locally, like Facebook marketplace. You never know what's going to pop up and what you can just jump in on and, uh, grab for a great price. Cause I've gotten some, uh, pretty great deals that way. And, uh, you know, this definitely being one of them, cause this is a cool unit. Um, I want to say this is, I don't, I won't say it's like the, it might be the base model of the ones like this. They have fancier ones. I know I've seen one where the, uh, EQs actually have lights in them. Um, probably got some digital tape deck model or whatever. But, uh, as far as sound wise, you know, this thing really rocks. I was really, really surprised. It impressed me. And, uh, it didn't take much work to get it going. Like I said, I don't know what was with the CD player, but I mean, it's working now. It's just a matter of replacing the bands and the tape deck. And uh, what's really nice about it, I guess because of the age, being early 90s, you know, you open it up and it's like wide open inside. Plenty of space, easy to pop new bands on. Um, so this is just a great find, a great buy at a great price. And there you have it. That's my Sony FH b5 cd uh portable hi-fi mini stereo if you guys have any questions make sure you hit the comments don't forget to subscribe come back check me out see what else i find while i'm out doing my thing thrifting looking for great deals till next time